You know, um, from time to time you hear people say, God, they just don't write them like they used to. Well, the truth is, some people are writing them like they used to, and sometimes even better than they used to. And one of those people is Amanda McBroom. <laughs> a couple of years ago, I heard her do a song that, uh, unusual song, and I just immediately fell in love with it and thought, God, I just got to do that song. And uh, it's one that she wrote with a fellow named Gordon Hunt. They wrote the song about Amanda's father. And uh, even before I worked on it, I thought, God, I don't know if this is the right thing for me to do because the words are so personal. They're so autobiographical. Maybe, maybe this song won't be acceptable from anybody but Amanda. How silly I was. Well, it, it, um, it didn't take me very long to realize that this song has so much universality. It's, um, it's a song that I think speaks to, to many of us in different ways. Lovely, lovely song. Amanda McBroom. In the hall, on the wall, at a house in Reseda, is a poster held up by two nails and a pin. It's my daddy, the actor, about to die with his boots on. He's the man standing up there beside Errol. got third or fourth billing at the end of each picture. That don't mean much, he would say with a grin. But he held my hand tight as he pointed his name out only for Thank you. 
Thank you.